Your gender is reversed. What's the first thing you do? Viewer's Edition. Story 1. Women get judged so much. Other women are horrible to each other, and men objectify so much of what women do. Not that women aren't also doing it to men, and to each other, shaking my head. People should just stop objectifying everything. But in my case, if I was a man, I wouldn't be judged for being a masculine female. I'd just be a man. Instead of hearing comments like, don't work out your arms and upper body anymore, you already look like a man, I'd be liked because I have worked hard to have a good body for myself. I also wouldn't be constantly told that I shouldn't travel alone or go study abroad as it isn't safe. And a huge thing for me is that I'm into women. So if I was a man and still into women, I'd get to do that without sinning so much. Also in many cultures, men are still being viewed higher than women. It has been embedded in people's brains and many do so even without thinking. Look at virginity stuff in religions, for example. Women need to stay pure for the men and for the God while men are forgotten from the picture. I'm not one of those who say everything for a man is better, though. Honestly, men struggle a lot. They've been told not to get help, and feelings aren't okay to have. They're okay to have. Everyone just needs to control how they show it. If you're angry, don't go beating people up. If you're sad, it's okay to cry, but don't take it out on others. In a lot of things, men aren't being viewed equally, especially in custody cases, and for example when job searching as a teacher or a preschool person. But look at how many things women are being discriminated against. The child thing wouldn't bother me at all, as I'd get a vasectomy and I would never step into a school zone, as I don't like kids in general. Men are sometimes being viewed as monsters, but it's being forgotten that women also do bad things. Men just tend to do them more physically. But despite all the things men go through, I think I'd be better off as a man. Not that I'm trans. I don't care about things enough to go and change my gender. Story 2. I was waiting for someone to acknowledge gender dysphoria. Most people don't even think about it. Why? Because it's a bunch of freaking BS. Gender dysphoria isn't caused by being in the wrong body. It's caused by personal issues regarding your gender or that you may believe are caused by your gender such as being daunted by the beauty standards as a woman or believing you can't walk around safely at night as a woman or the fact you have masculine interests like cars or fighting and feel like you fit in less easily. The gender dysphoria thing doesn't apply here at all. And transitioning isn't a cure or a solution because all it does is cover up the issue. A real solution or a therapy would target the underlying psychological factors causing it not break the perfectly healthy body to fit the broken mold the mind made. And usually it's only considered a fix by a lot of them because technically it will erase the pressures of one gender, but what they forget is that the opposite sex will have its own set of difficulties. But due to being trans and not actually being the opposite gender, the person will not experience exactly what the other will, and depending on the community they're in, they will get special treatment and affirmation and nobody will dare to actually be honest with you. I would not feel dysphoric whatsoever. The only times in my life when I have were moments when I thought life as a woman would be easier or more suited to me due to me being more emotional, as well as being physically weaker than almost all my peers. Which, if you think you are the opposite gender for those reasons, doesn't that sound backwards to you? Spoiler alert, it is. So no, nobody is going to get gender dysphoria from this. The only reason I'd worry is because I'd start to wonder why it happened and how it would affect my life. Story 3. First hour, the obvious. Punch my newly formed bubiloobiloobies to test how strong a hit they can take, slowly increasing the punch strength until it feels like too much. Do weird poses in the mirror, say the dumbest things possible with my new voice, and test what kind of laugh I can make. Spin on myself at high speed while topless in front of a mirror to see how that makes me look while also experiencing the spin feel on the boobies. I would still wear my man clothes over swapping to female clothes, Although I might consider crop tops, long sleeve type, just for the style, as outer layer, sleeveless ones, as inner layer, if I feel the need for support to be necessary, custom tailored with cool stuff on it, flames, lightning bolts, skulls, spider webs, spiders, corruption pattern, blizzard with a demon, would not want the girly patterns they do on normal ones, flowers and cutesy stuff, I would still walk around topless whenever I want, anyway, since I would not care about people viewing me without a top, even if I became a woman. If I'd get harassed, I would just give the guys a good beating. Can't bother reporting idiots. 
unless they were able to restrain me by overwhelming strength and did me dirty. Then I would report if I could not give them a punishment myself. Finally, the identity issue would be problematic if the transformation only applied to me and not globally. Family unable to acknowledge you anymore. Government denying your existence. Story 4. If I, a guy, got turned into a girl, here is what I would do. Step 0. Wonder to God, how did I get here? You may ask yourself, how did I get here? This is not my beautiful wife. Step 1. Use the biggest cucumber I can find in my kitchen. Step 2. Test if my libido has changed, to be turned on by men instead of women. Step 3. Try out my mom's makeup, wear her clothes, her underwear, and her lingerie, and pose with it. Cosplay as anime girls. Step 4. Compare my looks to other girls, measure my cup sizes, waist, and hips, and see where I'm at. I'd assume I'd be pretty hot since I was originally 8 inches at 16 years old and fueled with testosterone, taking into assumption that all my testosterone magically becomes estrogen. Step 5. Start trolling and catfishing on Discord. Step 6. Realization. My classmates and family will freak out by this. Don't know how they would react at all. Step 7. Come in clean to mom. How can I hide my high-pitched voice and bosoms, assuming I'm not flat? Step 8. Identity change. Step 9. Go to school and test how differently I get treated as a girl. Use the toilets and appreciate how clean they are. Seriously, boys' toilets are a war zone. Step 10. Get new female friends and see what it's like. Step 11. Maybe expose my secret to some of my friends and troll them with it. Step 12. Dominate the girls' basketball team since I dominated the boys' team. Step 13. Knowing how girls have it easier to get in a relationship, try and get laid. Step 14. Pretty much accept life from here as a girl. Story 5. Oh, hey, never thought I'd find one of the elderly people here. Life is progress. Everyone is different in their own way, and sometimes can't be defined by what they are even after birth. What would you do if you met people that were actual cases of both in one? By saying this, you reject their existence. And they are people too. Everyone changes through life, because if they never did, they'd stay babies, unable to walk, talk, or do anything meaningful. If on their way they found a label that makes them happy, why not let them be happy then? And this applies not to just babies, but those that actually wish to be the opposite gender of themselves too. Everyone changes and grows, and going against that by rejecting their choices, if said choices are not harmful to others, might outright hurt them, sometimes to the point of wishing to exist no more. So, honestly, it's your choice to believe me or not. In the end, it only takes an in-depth research to show whether my words are true or not. By in-depth, I mean more digging than looking up the first couple of sites. Duh. It's probably better if you learn about this yourself, as I'm just here to protect the homies and can't provide more knowledge. Story 6. First, I get myself on course to attain the ability of girl power by using my still-practiced charisma. Use the I'm a woman excuse to justify every goddamn thing I do to make myself some money by entering myself onto OnlyFans. What's done is done. At the end of the day, I need money. Money and money, 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 and some time to make it. Then, once I've made enough, I find a way to revert back. Inevitably, it'll happen, but before that, I've made sure to transfer all of my money to my bank account, safely secured. Maybe, uh, I don't know, I'll keep 40, 50 in cash on me. Then, when I'm a man again, I've got some money behind me. A whole lot that just leaves me to my own businesses on different platforms with all the absurd amounts of green I've made. I'll always be clean. With a little faith, anything is achievable. Oh, and yeah, I gotta take down that OnlyFans account. To every trace of who I was as a girl needs to be erased. Story 7. Non-binary doesn't mean no gender. It basically means not entirely aligning with manhood or womanhood, aka being a man or a woman. You could align more with womanhood, manhood, manhood but with femininity, androgyny, no gender, etc. Gender is a spectrum, and non-binary people are also a spectrum. So it depends on the non-binary person. To answer your question, the non-binary person's both gender and sex-wise will turn into the total opposite of what they are, meaning they'd be cisgender or align with another gender identity and have different genitals. For example, as someone who's non-binary, I don't entirely feel like a woman, so I identify as a female-leaning non-binary. I'd most likely transition into a fully cis male or man, as that seems like the total opposite of what I am. Or I'd turn into an agender person who is male-leaning. A non-binary person who aligns with having no perceived gender, aka agender, 
would most likely be cis and have the opposite set of genitals. Hope this helps. It's a good question. Story 8. If I knew how long it would be for, I'd have ideas, but honestly, freak out, and as it would be magical or by means beyond human ability, accept it, probably get pregnant, unlike baby trapping, I'd be open about it. Because I want a kid, not a man, and be a strong independent woman with the brain of a straight male, basically, I'd change nothing but be open to getting a sperm donor because I'm poor and it's not possible to adopt as a single poor male, but a poor single female can keep her own child. I'd not do so if I knew it was short term, so honestly, if short term, I'd do nothing but buy a bra and feminine supplies and wait it out. I wouldn't care for surgery to go back, but would want period blockers, as honestly, they sound not fun, and as a man, that would be the worst thing to get used to. Story 9. As a girl, I wouldn't mind if I would be a man permanently. I'm not trans and don't want to, but I would love being a man because no period, no giving birth to a child, standing up for peeing, running around topless, better clothing, having pockets and more comfortable clothes, yes please, being stronger, not having issues with shoe sizes. I do 40 to 41 European size and I barely find any shoes that fit me. Video games and social media, I feel that's easier to stream, make videos, and play multiplayer games as a man than a girl, and the list is even bigger, but I'm going to stop here. If you're a man, then please be happy about it and never wish to be a girl. It's not worth it. Maybe for one day it could be fun, but not permanently. Story 10. I would honestly experiment with my views of what it's like to be a woman. I already believe life is significantly easier for women in areas of life pertaining to validation and the options you gain with that easily obtained validation. And I'd like to see if my views of life as a woman were correct or not. Then I'd do the obvious experimentation to get as much information on the enjoyments of women. Then I'd try to see if there's a way to return to being a man the same way I was turned to a woman. If there's a way to return to being male, I'd exploit the easy ways to make money as a woman, only fans, etc., before returning to being a man with the cash. Story 11. So if you're in this craze of gender swapping, let's say male to female, would the change take in the factor that you're a legit man and make you a legit female, or would it just undo the surgery? No hate on trans or anything, but I never understand how that works. Not only is changing uh, genders weird to me, I can't wrap my head around having surgeries for any reason that wasn't mandatory for survival. This headspace I'm in, right or wrong, includes cosmetic surgeries. It's the ultimate way to be something you're not and dump tons of money and your health to be fake. Like I said, I'm all for freedom. I just could never grasp what someone would be thinking to do anything like that. Story 12. Assuming it's for the rest of my life, at first I would celebrate, then go to my friends to see how they look. I would have to disappear and start a whole new life with my two online best friends because at home I would no longer be accepted by anyone. But that's okay. I hate them anyways. After moving is all done, I get my new identity, then go around and see what life is like for dudes and do all kinds of stuff like they can do and just be happy for once. If it's only for a day, I'd convince all my teachers and my principal that I really am a guy so they will finally use my proper name and not my unalive name. Story 13. This is quite a long answer, so bear with me. Assuming this is permanent, I would first panic, because what the frick am I supposed to do? After I panic, I would probably explain the situation to multiple people so they don't panic. I would then touch myself, because what else am I supposed to do? Then I would try and switch schools, or try to enroll as a completely new student, then I would just go on about life. Now this version of the story is assuming I am turned into a cute girl who looks completely different from myself. If I looked like a female version of myself, then I would obsessively try and become a dude again for the rest of my life. Story 14. Take the opportunity to weep with joy before it dawns on me that this is actually really freaking bad. Since I still live with my parents and have nowhere else to go, they would not recognize me and... Oh shoot, their kid's gone without a trace. And this clinically insane rando is in their room. I would have no way of identifying myself because all those inside jokes we have would be seen as either excessive stalking or some creep that their kid was too open with on the internet decided to take advantage of all this knowledge. So now I'm either on the run or in an ambulance or police car on the way to an asylum or prison and goodbye life. Story 15. I know there's a lot of people saying touch myself, but I would freak out in all honesty. Then get used to it, thinking about anything would make me have extreme anxiety, and I would be scared to go anywhere. 
I would also be stressed that all of a sudden I have new problems, many compared to a man. I would feel extreme discomfort because people will change thoughts about me, be stressed for an entire year, get used to it, and finally I would not switch back. I feel no attachment to being a man or a woman, honestly, and I would be fine with it and probably touch myself, not to see how it feels like, but to relieve stress. Story 16. The thing about this question is, it's too broad. Like, is the transformation permanent or temporary? And if it's temporary, then for how long? Assuming it's permanent, I think my life would be ruined. My family probably wouldn't recognize me, and everyone would think I'd be unalive because of a complete identity switch. If everyone manages to believe my gender changed, then thank God. But also countless people will probably interrogate me to figure out this occurrence, and I hate being asked a series of questions I'm forced to answer out of the blue. Would be curious to know about things like periods or how interactions happen in the girls' bathroom compared to the men's. Story 17. If I magically turned into a woman, I would probably try out various cosplay characters. I'm currently a fat guy doing weightlifting, conditioning, and watching calories to lose weight, so I'm guessing I would turn into a Melissa McCarthy-type woman starting off. My first cosplay would be Giant Ursula from The Little Mermaid. Then, as I'm slowly losing weight, I would dye my hair blonde and probably cosplay as the blonde BBW superheroine Faith. As I dropped a little bit more, I would then cosplay as several of the gems from Steven Universe. My eventual goal would be to cosplay as Rogue from X-Men, Starfire from DC, Bulma from Dragon Ball Z, etc. Story 18. Timestamp 733. Person, just a conceptual note. No one who uses either term thinks that mentally ill and perverted are in any way the same thing. The former may not be accurate, but it is intended to imply and does imply illness, not offensiveness. Perverted is an insult. Whether or not mentally ill can be accurate raises the question of definition. What better definition of the term can there be than believe something firmly that is inconsistent with observable material reality? And if that is so, is there not one possible solution to change material facts as closely as we can to conform to that belief, which is what we do now? Story 19. Being a gender-changing mutant is exactly what I want to be, if it gets you to go away. Obviously, you aren't familiar with feeling like a stranger in your own body. I don't want your opinions on what I can and cannot do with my body. It's not yours, so why do you care so much? Kinda weird, bro. If this is what gives me comfort and it isn't hurting you, then why do you care so much about it? Why don't you want other people to be comfortable? Story 20. I would give money to see this happen in the Muslim world since it is the literal patriarchy feminists claim Western civilization is. I'm curious what they would do. Do the new women accept their fate or try to make changes in their holy books to maintain their social status? Do the new men make changes because they know what life as a woman in Muslim rule is like, or stay the course with an it's-my-turn attitude? Story 21. Okay, well, I need to see a doctor for many other reasons, but hey, it's only needed when you decide to be unlike others, huh? Your choice, your opinion. Change comes to us all. Bend or resist. But I kind of doubt you read what I said, so in all caps, do your research, please, because if you think I wouldn't know better then at least others might. Also, why are you on this video then? Tempted much? Story 22. I'd probably not be used to the changes in body structure and muscle strength and voice. You need different amounts of air for different vocal cords or something like that. Like puberty a second time. I would learn how it feels to talk as a female, and then when I get back to being a male, I would troll people with my female voice and at school and perhaps even learn how to imitate people's voices. Story 23. After turning into a girl and after touching myself, I will lick my fingers to taste my new place, and after my first period, I even want to drink my blood, and then I live my life after I always do. I don't like makeup or too girly clothes, except for skirts, so I'll be practically a woman dressed as a man, and I want to know how differently I'll be treated from the people. Story 24 Too many questions. What happens to the wonderful trans people? Do I change back after a while? Do the people in my head change too? Does everyone change, or just me? How would this affect the people who never felt okay with going into the other bathroom? Does this only affect humans? I need to know before I can say anything. Story 25. Agreed, and not female, and then male, and then female again. You have to pick one, and stay with it. I have several very toxic friends who always barrage me with complaints that I never got their pronouns right, but then every other day they'd change them and I'd be lost again. 
Then they lost me as a friend when they cut off all contact from me and pretended that I didn't exist. Story 26. I'd go about my regular life, just with everyone I know confused. Edit. Actually, not have to worry about getting bloody pants. Edit 2. Change my mind. Immediately yell, I'm trans and I transitioned overnight, and then not worry about getting bloody pants. Story 3. Change my mind again. Tell my mom, she's the only female in the family now, and then yell that and not worry. Story 27. Pull the most epic prank I ever have. Because I'm in a boys-only school, I'm pull up in my normal uniform, because we have one, act like nothing happened, and sit in class looking at everything and everyone suggestively. Even if I can't do much, stuff would hit the fan in 2.5 seconds if I told anyone my name. Story 28. Honestly, I don't think that much would change, especially the wardrobe. You can't imagine how happy I'd be of having parameters matching most women and having unisex or woman clothing. I legit have a few pairs of jeans that my sister used to wear because they fit me better. Please leave your stories in the comments. I'd love to make a video of them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.